Wanna ride the Tunnel of Love? Yippee! Get off of there, Max. Why? Check this out. Ah! I'll never shave again. You never did. There. That should get things running again. Who are you? I'm Doug, the Bull Man. Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We fight crime. And we like long walks along the beach. What do you want from me? What the heck are you, anyway? I'm a Bull Man. Figure it out. I think he's a mole man, Sam. You know, watching too much TV is super bad for the eyes. Why do all you squishy, poorly focused blobs say that? Never mind. Do you know anything about Bruno the Sasquatch? Bruno the Sasquatch? Why, the stories I could tell you. Stop him, Sam. He's gonna tell us a story. I first met Bruno 25 years ago in Saigon. And then there was the time we all had our taxes done by a platypus, and... Shut up! For God's sake, just shut up! Look, we just want to know where Bruno is now. Gee, I have no idea where he went. Maybe you should talk to my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah, my uncle Shavuul. He's really into Bigfoots. When I was a kid, he used to tell me stories about giant Bigfoot parties, where all the Bigfoots of the world would get together and dance Bigfoot dances, and... That's great, kid. Where can we find your uncle? I don't know. He disappeared a short time after he helped build the largest ball of twine on Earth. I think I may weep openly. Look. You two seem trustworthy. Oh, we are. Yes, you can trust us as far as we can throw you. So if you bring me some pecan-flavored candy, I'll give you my key to Trixie's trailer. I'll also tell you a big secret about how Bruno escaped. Why not tell us now? Because I'm hungry. Here, I thought you might like some candy. Thanks. Pecan's my favorite. Hey, you're all right. Take this key as a token of my appreciation. Wow, this is some key. Okay, Sam, let's get the hell out of here. Wait, I've got a great story you should hear. Keep it short, kid. My partner's got a low tolerance for long stories. Well, it all started the day before today. I remember it like it was yesterday. It's not widely known, but Trixie had fallen in love with Bruno. 
Every night, she'd sneak into the freak show tent and read to him what she imagined to be his favorite bedtime stories. She seemed as happy as a self-mutilated parody of nature could be. But she could never truly be happy until her beloved Bruno was free. Finally, she decided to do something about Bruno's predicament. She begged Flambe, the fire breather, to free the Bigfoot from his icy cage. Flambe took pity on poor Trixie and liberated Bruno. And the happy couple haven't been seen since. Hell of a story, ain't it? Hey Max, come here. What? Watch this. Well, this is undignified. Oh boy! Hey, there's a neat costume in here. It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Roomy Eyes, Florida. Cherry for a minimum wage earner. All Snucky you graduates have completed. Hey, can you open this for me? Sure, ain't a jar made I can't open. Anything else I can do for you? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. I hear a distant rumbling. You should have thought of that before we left. It's a bucket of fish. Actually, Sam, it's a slimy bucket of fish. I wonder if this will in any way shape our thoughts on today's lunch. What a hunk of filet. I'm naming it Bubbles.
What's going on here? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I'm risking pneumonia standing in this creek. That's what's going on. You must really love fish. Actually, I'm allergic to them. Then why do you work here? Because I'm more allergic to poverty. I love all your movies, especially the early funny ones. What are you talking about? Sorry, I must have confused you with someone else. What do you know about Bigfoots? My great aunt Lois married a Bigfoot. He used to shed all over Grandma Phyllis's upholstery. What's the deal with that helicopter? That helicopter is the bane of my existence. Every time I catch enough fish to fill a net, the helicopter swoops down and carries the fish to the Ball of Twine Diner in Central Disc, Minnesota. How sad. I know. It's like being stuck in a Norman Mailer novel. Don't move. That's a large fiberglass fish. 